on behalf of the Hampton Classic and our cherished partner Longine, it is very exciting to have all of you here for one of the great moments of the entire year when we honor the top finishers in our $300,000 Hampton Classic Grand Prix presented by Longine. In just a moment, we'll take questions, but first, it's a pleasure for me to introduce our distinguished guests. First, at the far right, our course designer, someone who whenever I ask a rider, what do you think of Alan Wade as a course designer, invariably they use the word genius. He is regarded as one of the best, if not the best, course designer in the world. He has been chosen as course designer for next year's Longine FEI World Cup Finals from Ireland, Alan Wade. Next to Alan, today's third place finisher. He's had success on our circuit for many years, but this weekend has to be one of the best. Double clear on Friday, double clear today, for the United States, Andrew Wells. <laughs> to my immediate right, my fellow Bostonian, the reserve champion here today, someone who has been a Grand Prix champion in the U.S. and internationally, for the United States, Charlie Jacobs. And next to Charlie is someone who has really dominated the Hampton Classic competition over the last five years. He's won virtually every class we have here in the Grand Prix ring, including the Longine Cup. As you heard during the presentation ceremonies, he has just won the Longine Rider Challenge as the horse show's leading overall rider for the third time in the last four years. He's now added the biggest of them all. Please join me in congratulating the champion of the $300,000 Hampton Classic Grand Prix presented by Longine from Ireland, Richie Maloney. So Richie, it's obvious to anyone who follows the Hampton Classic that you have won day after day over the last five years, not just this year, but now you finally added the big one. Can you tell us how it feels at this moment? It's, it's great to win the Grand Tour. My horse is really jumping well. He's been jumping well for the last over a year. And this week is a third great Friday in a great round. Just lucky to have a time for us, but maybe that will help for today. Well, of course, if you had to choose between Friday or today, we know what you would choose. And you know, that jump off, it was clean round after clean round, faster and faster, Karen, Easy, Charlie. So did you have a particular move you were looking to make to shave time off what they had done? Um, well, one to two, uh, maybe I don't want this. The rest, I just, everything showed up nicely. I, I took a bit of a chance at the second last time. I rubbed it a bit, I was a bit lucky, but uh, it came off and it was already good. But the crowd was watching so intently and you know when that kick happened it was like hold the breath a second and obviously turned out very very well if you could pass the microphone down to alan for just a moment please alan it's always a challenge we feel when you have this much talent in a grand prix to have it sort out um and have produce worthy champions we assume at this moment you're pleased with the way this grand prix went today uh, yes, I think we had good sport today. Um, you know, there were certain things like the double of water pitches that I had never built up the height, so I didn't know how riders and horses would react to it. And uh, I think some of the more inexperienced horses, it was a bit too much for them. And, and at the end of the day, normally the cream comes to the top. Well, uh, I'm, I'm always so impressed by what course designers do. It's such a challenge, and today the cream certainly did come to the top, so we congratulate you, Alan. Uh, we can take some questions now. If anybody, uh, please raise your hand. Michelle will bring the microphone. We'll go to Erin first, and Erin, you can just pass it forward to Nancy. This is 
for Andrew. jump in before the next question because I've known Andrew for a long long time many years and we were standing here before the press conference and his smile of course is a mile wide I said Andrew you were sitting here in the press conference after the Hampton Classic Grand Prix is that a feeling that you can even describe for us it, it's it's unbelievable you know I, I there's a, a few times this year riding this horse that I, you know, I just said I, I feel so fortunate to be a part of this class, and you know, there was all the talk of a hurricane or a tropical storm today, and we, you know, 11 o'clock rolls around, and it is just as beautiful an afternoon for a Grand Prix. So I already felt fortunate to be an entry in the class, and to be up here is just incredible. Very good, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. How are you? First of all, I'd like to thank and congratulate Richie on today's win and Andrew. I was going to ask Richie what time it was, but it's clear he's got a watch for each arm at this point. <laughs> uh, regarding the triple, uh, I tell you, uh, it came off for me off a left turn, and I, I knew I wanted to have some good energy coming up to that. It was an oxer oxer vertical, a very tiny two in between. As wide as we call it a boxy two. So I wanted to come in with a lot of momentum, hoping my horse would really express herself over A. Again, push for B. Even though it was a tight two, you had to push. And then hold up a bit for the third element of the vertical of the C jump. Um, I got, at least for myself, that was a recipe to get through there without a rail. And Charlie, while we have a moment, you're sitting here with two professional horsemen. As most of us know, you do have a, another job besides riding. And uh, you have a full-time job. I mean, is what is that extra challenge and how do you manage it working full-time and then being able to finish second in one of the biggest events of the year? I'm very fortunate to have the horses that I do in my, in my, you know, in my stable. And I have the absolute best team possible behind me. In terms of uh, people who work for CMJ Sport Horse or Deerich Farms, which is my family's farm. I really have a top notch group. It wouldn't be possible without them. And really, frankly, we should be up here in the morning with you today. Uh, congratulations. And uh, we know about all three of you, of course, committed to horses first. And uh, you and your family are known for that. And uh, I think that's always the secret. Thank you, Martin. Next question. Nancy, you ready? Anybody else? Okay, send it down to Caitlin, please. Um, Richie, can you just kind of tell us a little bit more about why the Classic is special for you and maybe why you think you've had so much success here the past couple of years and been so consistent and, and then also what it means to win this class for the first time? Yeah, it's, it's special and it's a great show. There's always a great crowd here. And we're stable. Our barn is about 40 minutes away, so it's kind of easy for us to get here. So we normally take a little, we've been up for it for a few weeks every year and make sure or try to have our horses on top form for this week. And they, they were, and yeah, my, um, it means a lot to win the Grand Prix here. My horse, he's been amazing for me. This is his fourth big Grand Prix win. And, um, 
you know, it's very lucky to have him and lucky to have my owners, equanimity, the Mercer family, and such great staff that help. And um, yeah, just thankful without all them people, this wouldn't be possible. Next. Well, Charlie made a reference a moment ago about, uh, he asked Richie what time it was, and Richie had a watch on each arm. I'd really like to take a moment to express our horse show's thanks uh, to Longine. Not only did uh, Richie, as winner of the Hampton Classic Grand Prix, get a Longine watch, but Charlie and Andrew as well. Richie actually got two as winner of the Longine Rider Challenge, and Richie must have like a draw full of them at this point. <laughs> We're all going to be really nice to you, Richie. But Longine is exceptional as a horse show sponsor. We have been blessed here at the Hampton Classic over the years with many very, very good sponsors who work closely with us. But Longine stands out. They are in a class of their own. They don't simply give us a sponsorship check and say, great, you know, use it wisely. They work with us. They send a crew of people here to work with us. They pr provide the Longine timing. And I'll tell you today, with three one hundredths of a second came into play in the placings, having that precise timing that Longine provides was really, really crucial. They do the graphics for us. They work with, with us and always say to us, what can we do to help? What can we do to make your event better? Longine, of course, is the biggest sponsor in equestrian sports worldwide with our International Equestrian Federation. So I would like at this moment to bring forward some glasses of champagne and ask Alan and our three riders. Michelle? We would like to toast and thank Longine and at the same time toast Richie and Charlie and Andrew on their incredible performance here today and Alan Wade on the great job that he does. Congratulations to our riders, to Alan, and thank you so much to Longine for all that you do for our sport. That's it. Big smiles, everybody. Okay, thank you. Right here.